yo what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video so in today's video we're going to be going over the top seven best boss mules in the current state of maple right now before we get into the video i want to make a point that this is going to be a list based off of experiences playing all of these classes and ranking them from first to seventh now there are bossy mules outside of the ones that I'm going to list in this video, but these are the top seven out of the almost 30 that me and Joe have done. The top seven that I think are easiest to play, easiest to fund, and have the easiest trios to get. I also want to make a point that this is not a guide on any of these classes either. We have individual guides on all of these classes on our channel that I will link in the description below. I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for the recent support lately. We're getting closer to 5k subs. So if you guys have been enjoying the content recently and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's 100% free. It only takes about a second out of your day and me and Joe would greatly appreciate it. It means a ton to us and it shows you guys that you're enjoying the content. So starting the list off with number one, we're going to be going with Buck. Now, Buck is a very, very, very good boss mule and arguably one of the best boss mules out there because of its low cooldown burst and its easily optimized damage output. Buck has its skill Lord of the Deep, which makes it very, very, very easy to put out a maximum of DPS the entire time throughout a boss fight, which is why this class is going to be going at rank one in terms of boss mules. Now, number two, we have Hero. Hero is a bit different than Buccaneer. It does have short cooldown mini burst skills, but it does have a bigger two minute burst skill. Hero is a very, very strong class and very easy to maximize DPM as well. This class has very easy trio nodes and very easy to learn as well. Coming in at number three, we have Wind Archer. Now Wind Archer was something that sort of surprised me. I didn't think it was as strong as it really was. I knew this was a high DPM class, which is usually good for boss meals, but I didn't think it was gonna be as good as it actually is. This class has very low cooldowns, but it also has an extremely strong burst as well. This class is super easy to play, and there's not a lot of stuff that goes into min-maxing damage, so I would highly recommend making Wind Archer as a boss mule if you haven't. This is definitely one of the least played boss mules in my opinion. Coming in at number four, you guys have definitely seen this one around the channel in the past, Bowmaster. Now, Bowmaster is a very simple class to play you pretty much click all of your burst skills and then hold down one button and there's no min maxing at all this class doesn't have any short cooldown mini burst skills all it is is clicking your burst skills and then holding down hurricane and for that reason it's going to go at number four now shadower is a bit iffy because it comes in at number five in this list and shadower definitely could go anywhere from one to five within this list but the reason that i put it at number five is because there is a bit of a skill gap with this class it does have its two main burst skills trick blade and sonic blow that you pretty much use off of cooldown throughout every boss fight but you do have to know how to miso weave properly to maximize dps and there's a few things that you have to learn to keep yourself in dark sight so you optimize the amount of damage that you are doing in a boss so for that reason shadower goes in at number five but again like i said arguably this could be at number one in terms of damage but because of the skill gap it's going to go at number five demon slayer a very very good boss mule but not as good as a lot of people make it out to seem. Now, obviously, Demon Slayer is extremely good because it does come in at number six, but it's definitely not better than any of the ones before this. Demon Slayer recently had gotten changed from a three minute to a two minute, which made it slightly better for bosses, but made its burst skill a little bit weaker. But nonetheless, Demon Slayer is a great class with a lot of iframes and a very strong two minute burst. This class doesn't have any short cooldown skills that do a lot of damage, but its burst is very strong and does last quite a bit. Now coming in last at this list is going to be Dual Blade. This class has very short cooldown skills like Bodnado, and it does come with a few iframes. And for that reason, it makes it a great boss mule because you can pretty much always be using some sort of high damage output mini burst in any boss fight and you don't have to wait for a bunch of cooldowns to go into low main or damien or catchy you can kind of just go from one to the next and jump around and clear each boss now i know people might have a few questions on some of these boss mules and for that reason i'm going to link the video to each one of these in the description below we have gone over each one of these boss mules in depth in proper guide videos so if you guys want to check those out for further context of them please do so like i said this isn't a guide video on any of these boss mules but this is more so a list on the top seven that i think that any returning or new player should be making to get their 
bossing mules started. The order of these could definitely be switched around depending on the type of player that you are, but for the most part, these bossing mules work for anyone and everybody, and they're extremely, extremely good. So if you are just starting your boss mules, I highly recommend using this list. With that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up the rest of the video. If you guys do have any questions, please ask them in the questions below and we'll get back to them. But I hope you all do have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.